Oh, I miss you. Are you unsure about what to say when your loved ones are away from you? Well, the same old boring miss you? Now, in this lesson, we are going to learn some new phrases instead of using the same old boring I miss you. everyone welcome back I'm Naharika well in today's lesson we are gonna look at different phrases to say I miss you so many a times we all are very unsure about what to say when we are really missing someone yes it can be your friends your grandparents your parents your family your loved ones, that's your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife or your husband. So in this lesson today, we are not going to look at the same old boring I miss you. We are going to look at seven interesting phrases that you can use instead of saying I miss you. Because it's quite important to express your feelings using the right words so that the other person really feels good about it. So, you want to make someone's day? Well, let's look at the phrases here. The very first phrase that I have for you, which can be used in a very friendly manner, is, I can't wait to see you again. So, this can be used for anyone and everyone because it's a very friendly phrase. Now, this can be used for someone with whom you have spent a great time. So, for example, your aunt was visiting you and you had a great time with her. You all went to different places and uh, you ate at the best of restaurants and yes, you did have a gala time with her. And now she's gone back to her hometown and you're missing her. So, it's time to express your feelings. It's important to show that love towards her. So. You can use this phrase, I can't wait to see you again. The next thing that you're going to do is take out your phone and text her using this phrase. I can't wait to see you again, aunt. Right? Let's have a look at another expression that you can use in a friendly manner, which is, I wish you were here. Now, you know, at times there are things that you do and then you start thinking of this other person that you used to do with these things with. So like for example, you go for movies, okay? You go for movies and for these same kind of movies you used to go with your friend who no longer lives around you, who has probably moved to a different country altogether. And now when you go for movies, you miss that person. So it's important to express that to him or her. So you can say, hey, you know what? I'm at the movies right now and I wish you were here too. That's how you will use this phrase, right? Now let's have a look at the third expression, which is, I have been thinking of you and it made me smile. Now again, this expression can be used in a friendly manner. And you can use this when you're really thinking of someone. There are days when you wake up and you really miss a person. Okay, so probably it's your friend. Probably they're your grandparents who were just visiting you and now they're back home. So you're like, you're missing them. How would you express that love to them? You're going to say, I have been thinking of you and it made me smile. So, you know, even the thought of that person just makes you smile, right? So, it's important to express that in a correct way. So, use this phrase the next time you're thinking of someone and it just makes you smile. The next phrase that I have for you is, you have been on my mind. Hmm. Now, this phrase can be used in a very romantic way. So, remember, the first three phrases can be used in a friendly manner. And the next two phrases here can be used in a romantic way. 
so you have uh, had a beautiful amazing date okay so in the evening you went out you took a girl out on a date and you had a great time and now that you're back home you are missing this girl well if you are missing her it means you really liked her and now that you are thinking about her why don't you even express it to her so take your phone out either you text or you just call and say that you have been on my mind so the way you will use this expression is for example I had such a great time this evening with you and since then you have been on my mind so here you're expressing that yes you had a wonderful evening it was absolutely an amazing date and now that you're back home she's been on your mind right so you can express this in a very romantic manner let's have a look at another expression which is i crave for you now i crave for you is when you're wanting someone again there are certain things that you do in life and if your partner is not along with you then you feel sad you start missing your partner don't you so here you're really wanting that person so again in a very romantic manner you can use the phrase i crave for you so rather than just sticking to the old i miss you you can say i crave for you right let's have a look at another expression which is i miss you so much that it hurts where does it hurt well of course your heart hurts well this expression can be used in a very dramatic way so if you love too much of drama in your life you like to use phrases which are way too dramatic then use this phrase i miss you so much that it hurts you know when you really miss someone okay you're craving for that person and you're thinking about that person and it just hurts you like you can feel the pain in your heart happens right it happens with me yes it does so if it happens with you that it really hurts and as i said that if you love too much of drama in your life then use this expression that person for whom you're using the expression would feel great so i miss you so much that it hurts the last expression that i have for you here is very funny all i do is think of you your absence is more irritating than your presence again you can use this with your friends with your partners so use it in a very sarcastic manner it's like when these people are around you you feel really annoyed you can't stand them oh you are so annoying i can't stand you but when they're gone when they're away from you you feel that pain yes you just feel so incomplete and you start missing them so convey it to them yes i know there are people who are so annoying who are so irritating but when they are gone you start missing them so you can say that you know these days since since the time you have gone all i do is think of you so again you're conveying that you know my morning starts with your thought so all i do is think of you your absence is more irritating than your presence so it's kind of indicating that yes you are missing this person way too much all right so this phrase can be used in a very comic way so go ahead use it so these are some seven phrases that you can use for people and please use them because it feels great when someone would text you or just call you and use these phrases yes it does so please use them and i'll be back with a new lesson soon till then you take care